Hello everyone, Andy Schwab here with your Farm and Ranch News. According to the Billings Gazette article, BLM Director Tracy Stone Manning says that the department is going to allow corner crossing at the intersections of private and public land checkerboard section. The article from Brett French says that Director Stone Manning plans to take a recent federal judge's ruling quite seriously and will make sure that the state directors are implementing the allowance of the action, which many do deem as trespassing. The announcement from Stone Manning while visiting her home state of Montana comes to despite a notice of the appeal being filed at the federal level and the Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks saying that it's unlawful to corner cross in Montana. Now, another article also highlighted the BLM director touting her decision to allow bison grazing in Phillips County while also claiming rhetoric surrounding the controversial issue is a view held by the minority. And with today being July 14th, there are a couple of important dates to remember by the closing of business today. First, it's the USDA's Emergency Relief Program, or ERP, Phase 2. To be eligible, producers must have suffered a decrease in allowable gross revenue in 2020 or 2021 due to necessary expenses related to losses of eligible crops from a qualifying natural disaster event. Another deadline to be aware of on today is the application for the American Farm Bureau's Farm Dog of the Year contest. The winner does receive $5,000 cash and a year's worth of dog food, while regional runner-up like Montana's Alex Coniglione from last year receives $1,000 in cash prizes. That's all for Ag News, but join me now with a look at your Ag Markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always gonna be another something. I grew up in a generation of, you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana ag producers. Back friends, your ag news in your markets. A right Wyoming sheep producer is asking for the public's help in locating 70 head of yearling ewes. Guy Edwards and his father noticed over the weekend that their flock of 400 located 30 miles southeast of Gillette seemed a little shy. After scavenging the area and checking the fences, they knew something was not right. That led to a double check of their record book, which confirmed the in their intuition. And upon further investigation of their 2200 acre pasture, they discovered an area of trampled grass along the fence line and tire marks leading away. If anyone has any leads to the disappearance, they're asked to call the Campbell County Sheriff's Office or Wyoming Livestock Board's law enforcement. And despite losses on the futures board for cattle yesterday, weekly negotiated cash cattle markets started their bid steady to a dollar stronger yesterday. Cleanup trade will likely be happening today with packers needing to keep those orders full for this grilling season. Western Livestock at Great Falls had a small test of coal cattle and some sheep. Most of the coal cows remained over that dollar per pound mark, while the light test of the bulls stayed steady at the 120 to 130 money. For the sheep sales, it was Buffalo Livestock Marketing with a good test on Wednesday. Feeder lambs were spread apart by about 15 cents, while the light test of the coal use did remain softer around that 45 cent money. And wheat trade did not climb with the row crops following the tra uh, first trading session after the latest WASDE report. Looking ahead, drought and weather concerns will likely be the drivers uh, in the driver's seat, that is, throughout the rest of the summer. That's all for Ag Markets and News. I'm Andy Schwab. Have a good day.